Ready for your general warm-up for exercise? Here we go. We'll start with a march. And we're going to move into high knees. So one at a time, bringing your knee up nice and high. Pace that's comfortable for you. Moving from high knees, we're going to go into butt kicks. We're going to do each motion for about 30 seconds. kicks, hip openers. So just nice and open. Open your hips up. You want to make sure your warm-up includes the full body so that blood gets flowing all through the whole body. You should raise your heart rate and get you all prepared for exercise. Hip closers is just the opposite. Close the hips. And our side leg swings out to the side and down. Now we can only do one leg at a time, so we'll do about 15 seconds on each leg. And switch. If you have trouble balancing with this, you can always do it with a countertop or a chair in front of you. And we're going to do 10 quick calf raises. And 10 quick squats. Just little bouncing ones. And let's do some arm swings. Circles to the front.
and circles to the back. And cross arm. And march it out. You should feel like your heart rate has risen. Your body has been warmed up and blood is moving through all parts of your body. Now you're ready for exercise. T-band chest fly. Start with your band. Bring it behind your back and under your arms. You want to grab the band where your arms can be bent a little bit and then straighten them up and out to the side. Now you're going to keep your arms straight, bringing your hands together in front, just like that. And we'll go 12 times. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. T band back fly. Having your band in front, you want to grab it so that you're about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider. And then trying to keep your arms straight, you're going to extend out to the side. Just like that. When you get to the back, really pinch your shoulder blades together. Let's go 12 times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. T-band shoulder side raise. So with this one with your band, you're going to want to step on the middle of it with both feet. And you're grabbing the ends of the band. You're standing nice and tall. You want to extend your arms out to the side, just up to shoulder height and back down. So let's complete this 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. band bicep curl. With your band, you're going to stand on it with both feet. And you're going to grab the ends with your hands. Standing nice and tall, keep your elbows tucked to your side and just bending the elbow up. Let's go 12 times. T 
keeping the tricep pull down. Take your band and hold it with one hand in the middle. Cross that hand across your chest and grab one of the tails with the other hand, about six inches lower than your hand. Keeping this hand firm across your chest, hold down with the other hand and back up. Let's go 12 on each arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And to switch, you're just going to put the other hand in the middle, across your chest, grabbing one of the tails, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. T-band squat. For the squat, you're going to want to put your band underneath both feet. And holding the ends, you're going to want to pull up so you've got a little bit extra. It should be nice and firm there. Having a little bit of bend in your knees, try to stick your butt out towards the back and a little squat down and up. I'll show you sideways as well. Pull down and up. Let's go 12 times. One, two, And now we're going to move into our stretches. So it is important to stretch when you're done your exercise routine for the day because this will help also pull out any lactic acid that has built up in your muscles and it will help prevent any soreness um, throughout the rest of the day and into tomorrow. It also helps keep your flexibility and your joint mobility and it's very important as we age to maintain that flexibility and that mobility in your joints. So we're going to do a full body stretch today. So first one, thumbs up. We're going to stretch our chest, stretch our biceps, and the front of our shoulders. Just reach nice and wide, chest up, looking towards the ceiling. We're going to take a few deep breaths here. stretches from anywhere from 20 seconds up to 90 seconds. Whatever is comfortable for you. And relax. Now to stretch our back and our triceps and the backs of our shoulders, we're going to take one arm across and then just help it along and hold in there. During stretching, it is important to continue breathing. We don't want to hold our breath when we're stretching. And we're going to relax. And the other arm comes across. 
you're just going to help it along and hold it there. Remember to keep breathing, take some breaths. Your heart rate might still be high, but the cool down is meant to start to bring it back down to a resting level. And relax. Now the final one for the upper body, I want you just to reach up to the sky and stretch and reach up as high as you can looking at the ceiling and that's where we're going to hold it. So reach and push and stretch and look up, hold it here, taking some breaths. Really reach with your fingers. And relax. Bring it down slowly. Okay, we're going to move to the lower body now. So we're going to start with the groin stretch. So the groin is on the inside of your legs. So I want you just to take a wider stance and then you're going to just lean to one side, keeping this leg straight. Now you should feel that stretch along the inside of your leg. So you don't have to bend too far. Just a slight lean until you feel that stretch. Keep your upper body nice and tall. Don't end up leaning forward. Stay nice and tall. Now this can be difficult to hold, so you just hold as long as you can. If you can't hold it as long as I do, okay? And we're going to switch. Going to the other side, feeling the stretch in the other leg. In your body nice and tall. And come on back to the middle. So now we're going to work on the outside of our hips. So this is for your IT band. So your IT band runs down the outside of your leg and it can get very stiff and it can cause hip and knee issues. So it's important to keep this flexible. So you might want to use a wall or a chair or a countertop for some balance for this one. But what you're going to do is you're going to cross one foot over the other. Now, the leg that you cross in front, that is this leg for me, that is the side you are going to lean towards. And you're going to feel the stretch on the opposite side. So I will repeat that. So you're going to cross one leg in front of the other. The leg that went in front, you're going to lean down that side slightly. That's where you're going to hold, feeling the stretch on the opposite side. Coming up from there, you're going to switch and put the other leg in front. So the leg that is in front is the side you're going to lean towards. And you're going to feel the stretch on the other side. So the leg that went in front is the side you're going to lean down. Just a slight lean, doesn't have to be far. And we're just holding there, feeling the stretch on our opposite hip. Coming up from there. Now stretching should not be painful. So if you feel any pain during the stretch, it means you're pushing your body a little too far and you need to back off a little bit. So a little bit of uncomfortable is okay, but no pain, okay? So 
our next one, we're going to move down our leg, we're going to go to our thighs. So again, you're going to want something for balance possibly. Now the exercise looks like this. It's a quad hold. So you're grabbing your foot and holding up. If you can't get your foot, you can also just grab your pant leg and hold it like that. Okay? What you want to remember is your knees should remain as close together as you can. Try not to let it splay out to the side. Try to keep them nice and together. And you're gonna hold this position as best you can. Now, using something for balance is usually a good idea here if you have difficulty holding your balance. You also wanna try to keep nice and tall. You don't want to be leaning forward with this exercise. You want to stay nice and tall. Keeping your hips forward. And we will relax there. And we're going to move to the other side. So same thing. You can grab your foot or your pant leg. And then getting your knees together. Getting your body nice and tall. And holding that position. hamstring muscles, what we're going to do is you're going to get yourself into a position with your heel up. So one foot, heel up. Now this leg, you're going to need to bend your knee a little bit because you're going to bend at your hips and keep that leg straight. Just that motion, you should feel that stretch in the back of this leg. And that is where you hold it. So I'll move to the side so you can see. One leg out, bending of the knee, you're going to stick this butt out, and back, right there. And we're coming up from that, we're going to go to the other side, so sticking that heel up, bending the other knee, Sticking your butt out to the back, just to feel the stretch in the back of your leg and folding right along the back of this leg here. to the ground. Bending the front leg and you should feel that stretch through your calf muscle, the lower part of your leg. Try to make sure your toes are both pointed straight. And out. 
Good work.